This video is part two of the online I-9 form process by HireWell Now. The first video covered how to assign the form to your new hire electronically. This video will walk you through the process your new hire will experience while filling out the form, as well as some of the areas that using the online form can protect your business against unnecessary fines. As you can see here, your applicant will receive an email from mail at pointhr.com instructing him or her to complete the I-9 form. The email will cover the reason for completing the form, what they will need, such as a link to the list of acceptable documents they'll need to bring for verification on their first day of work, and their login and password to the I-9 portal. Once they click the link below, they will be taken directly to the login. Once logged in, the employee will complete Section 1 of the I-9 form. Now I want to draw your attention to the expiration date of the form. The first advantage I want to point out for using the online version electronically will protect you against using an expired version of the form which can lead to a fine if audited. How many of these may be sitting in file cabinets somewhere that may have expiration dates long past? Now the employee will need to fill out the form completely with all relevant information where the only optional field is made in name. So let me take a moment and complete this first section. Here is where the online version is much, much safer to you as an employer. Each I-9 form has dozens of possible areas that are subject to violation, and each violation has its own fine attached. One of these areas is the fact that it is forbidden by, by the government for any employer to change Section 1 of the form in any way. If there is an error, your employee will be the one that has to fix it. A common error on the manual version of the form is when the employee misses the date field, which is very, very easy to do on the manual version. And if your new hire is in a remote location where the form is mailed to the corporate office, this can be a nuisance at best and a hefty fine at worst if your local manager misses the omission because only the new hire is allowed to enter the information in the form as I said before. This can delay the process considerably. In the online version, however, electronically, this will not allow the employee to proceed until all the necessary fields are completed and the date will automatically populate once the form is complete. For example, say your new hire forgets to enter the date of birth. A pop-up will alert your new hire as to which fields need attention before they are allowed to continue. Once everything is filled out completely, the new hire will click confirm order and your system administrator will be alerted via email that your new hire has completed section one of the form. You've already averted several possible violations and fines by having your new hire fill out Section 1 of the I-9 form online. The next video will walk you through the process that you expect to see as an administrator.